All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, Yahweh Karkodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world that you nearly call is Jesus Christ. It's His true name. Karkodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also gonna give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach one of the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And uh, this is just going to be a quick uh, exhortation. I'm just on the road right now. I'm just going to quote some scriptures. It's going to be a quick one. And, you know, pretty much it's going to be centered around on how I can, you know, don't get entangled with the affairs of this world, okay? All right? You know, don't let the things that are happening in your personal life take you out of this truth, okay? You know, we understand that, you know, brothers go through a lot of things, all right, as we all are. You know, you, you'll have family issues. You're gonna have, you know, financial issues, uh, 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 physical ailments, okay, so on and so forth, okay? You get spiritually drained, spiritually, you know, uh, stressed out, all right? Hey, but these things come with the territory, okay? This was a part of our job description, so to speak, okay? Because it says in Acts 14 and 22 that... You know, before we get into the kingdom of heaven, I'm about roughly paraphrasing this. We got to go through much trials and tribulations. It says much trials and tribulations, okay? So we're going to constantly be going through things until until we uh, um, you know, get out of this captivity, okay? Until Yahweh Shai comes back and delivers us, all right? All in all, though, you know, we can't sit here and, you know use the excuses of, uh, you know, this is happening in my life or that's happening in, in my life where I can't do the work of the Lord or I'm going to drop the plow, okay? We can't be doing these things, all right? As uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3 states, it says, Endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, okay? And a soldier is going to deal with a bunch of, uh, you know, you know conditions okay a soldier's gonna deal with all sorts of elements all right and that's how uh, how we'll, that's basically what we're dealing with all right saying comes in with that you know left hook comes in with that you know uh that uppercut to the gut all right to the chest you know to the body you know and you know might throw a little you know you know a little two-piece you know to the face you know, some quick jabs that, that, that's what happens all the time, all right? But we just got to sit here and deal with it, okay? And the next verse, and that's uh, 2 Timothy, uh, um, or is it 1 Timothy? The, I think 2 Timothy, the second chapter, in the fourth verse, it says um, basically that he that is called, okay, basically who, to do this work, uh, don't be entangled with the affairs of this life. You're not supposed to get entangled with these things, man. Look, if your woman leaves you, so what? If you lose a job, so what? All right, if you're going through a uh, physical ailment, so what? Who cares? Okay? Hey, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yashar for strength. Deal with it. Swallow it, okay? Swallow that, uh, um, you know, that affliction. Okay? And keep it moving. Because, look, regardless if you fall out this truth, all right, or you stay in it, you as an Israelite is going to have to deal with with these curses, okay, that that are um uh, upon us right now, all right, you're gonna have to deal with it, no matter what, until Yahweh Shai comes back. But you see, you should want to be on the side of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, so when that great and evil day does come, okay, that you get protected, and that you get rewarded, all right. And anyways, we owe this to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. We've committed much iniquities in this life and also our past lives. Okay. So really, we the, 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 we're, uh, we owe the Lord. The Lord doesn't owe us. But but since Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, okay, starting with the Heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai, okay, is a great and, and, and um, merciful power. You know, He's gonna uh, give us rewards for doing this work, man. All right. Okay. 
And he doesn't have to do these things, but he does because he's bound by his word. And the Lord loves his, uh, his, his people. We're his firstborn, his chosen people, okay? All right? You know? And as this, hey, the scriptures say, we always bring this out. You know, uh, um, Sirach, the second chapter. If you come to serve the Lord, prepare for uh, uh, your soul for temptation. Okay? The second you get into this truth, you start serving the Lord, you're going to start dealing with afflictions. And it's not going to uh, uh, end. Okay? Until Yahweh Shah comes back. And it's only going to increase. Actually, your afflictions get uh, harder and harder and harder. Okay? You'll deal with some minor afflictions, but then you'll get, you know, these these uh, major ones here. These major ones there. And sometimes, you know, yeah, you feel low in the spirit. It does happen. But what does it say in the scriptures, in uh, um, the, the book of Proverbs? A just man falls seven times, but he gets himself back up. But it says a wicked man, you know, falls into mischief. And we don't want to be that wicked man. That's why we got to keep praying, fasting. All right? Read our scriptures. Stay in the spirit. You know, don't be um, entangled with this world. All right? You know? We just got to uh, continue to fight. As the scriptures say, hey, you know, fight the good fight of faith, man. You know, if, some, hey, if you do feel uh, weak in the spirit, hey, go, uh, go congregate with the brothers. Get, you know, uh, uh, get a spiritual uh, boost from them. Okay? And that's why we're here for, for, uh, 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 for one another. Okay? Because it says in the scriptures in Ecclesiastes, I believe it's the fourth chapter in the ninth verse, it talks about how two is better than one. All right? Because if one falls down, hey, the other can pick him up, man. All right? Because there's times where, I, you know, you know, brothers have picked me up when I was down in the spirit. And vice versa, I've held brothers who were down in the spirit. We need each other, man. Okay? Ultimately, we need Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? Pray, 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 pray. All right? Continue to keep praying. And Akim, look, we're too uh, close to the end to be uh, 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 falling right now, okay? To look at, looking back at what? A, a place that's crumbling right before our eyes? Salvation is, is not, it, salvation is literally around the corner, man. Okay? You see all these things happening. Uh oh, the World War III buildup. We, we see the economic collapse that's about to occur. We see all these uh, Israelites waking up worldwide, the elect waking up. All right? You, we see UFOs everywhere. Or, 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 or should I say IFOs? The chariots of the Lord. All over. Why are you getting weak, man? Hey, as the scriptures say in 2nd Ezra, I believe the 14th chapter, put off that weak nature. Put off the weak nature, man. All right? Be a man. Hey, the Lord said in the, uh, the book of Job, the 40th chapter, to gird up your loins like a man. He demands it of us. Hey, so whatever we're, what we're going through, deal with it, man. Be a goddamn man. All right? Hey, this is a part of our affliction. The Lord... Uh, 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 um, said in Deuteronomy 28 that if we weren't, uh, you know, going to obey Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the curses will come upon us, man. And, and these curses have come upon us. Now we got to deal with our punishment like men, okay? Deal with it like men, all right? Until Yahweh Shai comes back, all right? Just deal with it, all right? Now you know I, I'm gonna end it off. I'm about to actually pick up a. Uh, Pick up one of the brothers. We're about to go to the live show out here in, uh, you know, you know, in Chicago. But you know, I just wanted to do a quick, um, you know, exhortation. You know, hopefully this boosts, you know, a brother's spirit who's going through a, a you know, you know these, uh, um, you know, this particular, uh, you know, uh, um, situation, man. You know, feeling weak in the spirit. All right. You know, hey, just you know, uh, pick yourself back up and just keep it moving, man. And fight. Alright? Just fight. And with that, you know, who's ever uh, was listening, I hope was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Wawakak Wadash. 
Also, double honors to the Apostle and the Elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom.